welcome back my beauty squad how you been if you do it's your girl jessica make sure you hit the subscribe button down in that corner or that corner and that you got that bell turned on that way you get notified for any and every video upload because your girl uploads often plus i go live every thursday sunday and tuesday and that was a no random order like sorry <laughs> but 8 p.m eastern time you want to be there. Don't miss it. We have loads of fun. We always chit chat. You never know what's going to happen. My husband did my makeup with a blindfold last time. So, yeah. You might want to catch it. Most of the time, we're cracking up laughing. So, today I am doing a boxy charm for April review on some of the items. I'm not going to go into all the items just because I am trying to trade uh, for the Life is a Drag. I do have somebody that's wanting this. And I was really wanting to try this, but if I get life as a drag for this, then I'm all for it. And then also, um, I have another friend that was wanting, I was going to see if she was wanting this because she says she absolutely loves it. And she is one of my good friends that sent me stuff and has just looked out for me a lot. And I always love to give back, especially if I know she likes it. I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to try it until I know for sure she don't want it. So, these two will be a no review for today. I'm not going to open this one up either, just in case somebody wants it on Boxycharm Swipe. Just because I have one already. It's not iconic London, but it's the same concept. But, I will be trying this right here, first and foremost. I have already cleaned my skin, toned it. This is supposed to be like a coconut oil face cream. Apply lotion to fresh, clean, and toned skin. And then we'll go in and I will try the primer. I will go off camera, finish my face, face. So we're not here 50 minutes long. Come back, get into the eyeshadow palette, the lashes, the mascara. And I might attempt to try these lashes on. I don't know. We'll see. And then the new stick, and I will try to tie my hair with this. So we're going to get into quite a few items in my boxes today. I just, before a disclaimer, I'm just going to put a little bit on my head. I don't know how much is, it don't really say how much. But I know coconut oil is very good, very hydrating. I use a lot of coconut oil on my hair. It does tame the frizzies and it brings life back to it. That was very absorbent. Like, I don't know if it's because my skin is like super dry, just because I told it and everything just now, but it went in really quick. I might actually try to apply a little more just because that primer is not really hydrating. apply to where I don't really think it got good about I've had extra dry skin here lately I used to have combo skin I used to have like my, my forehead and like right in here would be like super oily and here lately it's just been wouldn't be a butt let's put it like that so then I'm gonna go in with this The poor professional poor primer my benefit. Right now my skin does feel a little tacky from that uh face uh cream. I don't know if it will like completely dry down. Okay, yeah, uh, it's going away. This is what it looks like. Kind of looks like uh, the cover effects primer. That's what it reminds me of. Here we go. 
I wanted to get a generous amount just because I want to kind of tell if I like it or not. Yeah, I would know my favorite primer of all times is the Elf Poreless Putty. So, see if it can at least hold up to that. I mean, I don't see, my skin feels a little bit softer, silkier to the touch. It did say apply with fingertips, so that's what I did. So now I will go off, cut back, full face stud, and then we'll get into the eyeshadow. Be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. So, as you can tell, I have a full face down. I um, went ahead and applied highlighter, blush, contour, all that good stuff. So y'all wouldn't have to sit here and do my brows. I went in with as a poreless primer and then the face cream, of course. And then on top, I used the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, which I've really been enjoying here lately. I wanted to use products on top that I already love. I do have the MAC Foundation that I need to do a review on really soon. So hopefully the next couple days that will be up. But I just went ahead and used what I loved already. Did my brows. Nothing new. No new products there. So we're going to jump into this eyeshadow palette. The color scheme isn't my favorite by no means. But I like it because it's different. And I have already primed my eyeballs. I want to use the new brushes that I just got. If I can find them, there's one. They're hiding amongst my other brushes. There's the red right one. Okay. So I'm gonna go with the fleshy brush first. That way I kind of give you an idea how this is. I will use that hour by hour. It's like that light tan color. There is a little kick up on the pan. Yeah, just put it down there. I'm kind of situated a little different if you can't tell. I'm trying to uh, fix up my area. All right, put it down a little bit. Being we're going to be here for a little bit while longer. I won't too worried about it whenever we were first looking for somewhere to go but with everything going on there's a possible way we could move right now we're still looking of course but most things are closed and this is just my transition shade and it's supposed to be showing up by no means now i want to go in with This burgundy, it's like a purple brown shade. I'm just gonna use that same brush. Use that as my crease color. Ooh, very pigmented. And these brushes are very, very soft. And uh, I don't wanna say like flimsy, but they're very like really easy to move. Sorry if y'all hear my yogas. Sophie, go tell them I said be quiet. And it's her that TV down. As you see, it's very colorful. I mean, very vibrant. And uh, the colors sort of blended out pretty good. Just like so. Just 
Thank you, Sophie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing they're not doing is not turning the TV down. Okay. Just go ahead on this side, same way. I always like to go from outer inner just because I want my outer to be darker anyways. So that's why I tend to do that. I've I've explained that quite a bit in my other videos, but just in case you do and you haven't seen any of my other videos, this is why. A little technique I picked up myself by no means I am not no MUA I am self-taught YouTube fanatic I watched everybody on here that's been on here for a while Karen MUA um, Allegra Alba all those amazing talented makeup artists I watched them and learned from them and I even learned from a lot of my friends still on here because I have grown a great community. It's so many amazing people on here and I just, I love it. I love it. I don't know why it looks so patchy right there. Oh, uh, it's because I need to do my eyebrows. I'm like, what in the heck? There, I just had to take it off because this is my eyebrow that I need to do. I'm gonna have to do them soon. Like, they're just getting crazy now. Okay. And the best way I know how I'm going in with my Moto brush. I'm going to go in with an hour by hour. Again, that very light shade right there. And just buff out the edges. I learned that technique from another YouTuber, of course. And it kind of blows it out to where it looks all blended really good. And... No rough edges, you're not bringing, you kind of faded it back out, so your darkest part is your crease, and that's what you want. I guess that's the type of look you want to go for, and that's kind of me. I have to break out my eye look, my eyeshadows, above my crease, just so you can see it, because I do have, like, hooded eyes, slightly hooded. Now I have this one. I want to use this is going to go up under here. So I guess I'm going to go with that purple burgundy shade again. Use it right up under my waterline. And I always like to make sure they connect. And this brush is from the set I just received. It's the pencil brush. Very good, uh, precise angle so you can get like right there. I do want to blow it out just a little bit. I'm going to go in with that gallery color and I'm using a motor brush. And I'm just bringing that color right up under that way and blending them together. I just like it. I like it to look a little blowed out. I don't like it to stop right up under my eye. Bring it down just a tad. And I think it looks beautiful. And I'll take some of that gallery as well and mix it in here just to see how it looks. Just like so. Do 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 do. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to use this. This is eye shading. Let's go in with the pearl color. It's just, it's been called my name. I'm going to try it on this brush. This does have a lot of kick up. But, oh, got a lot of fallout. I have no issue with fallout until I grab this shade. I think it's just because it's a shiver. Y'all know shivers are a lot better with your finger, of course. But I wanted to try to use as many of these brushes as I can. I mean, they're good brushes. Not $29 worth for five of them, of course. I just think that's a bit ridiculous. And they're not even Sigma or any brand like that is like really known for their brushes. Which, I mean, I haven't tried. I only got one Sigma brush that I adore. This shade is beautiful. I want to try it with my fingers just to see the intensity of it. Oh, yeah. Do y'all see that? This shade brings me back whenever I first started doing my makeup. Because I would always, always, always have a white shit, uh, silver in my inner corner. It didn't matter what color I had on my outer, outer lid. I didn't care what I was wearing. I always had a white shimmer in the inner corner. I rocked it forever. And then I would just come up with some crazy colors on the outside. I was very different. I never blended in. I don't like blending in with other people. I like being me. And I preach that to my kids a lot. Bring out your uniqueness. That's what makes you. Like, don't be a follower. Be a leader. And whoever don't like you, don't like you. Oh, well. It is what it is. Because in this world, you cannot make everybody happy. And you will hurt yourself. Try Okay. I did not want to take 20 years doing the side look, but it took 20 years doing the side look. I apologize. I want to deepen up that look down at the bottom. I'm not liking the intensity of it. There we go. Like I said, I really like this palette. So, I mean, all in all, I can't complain about my boxy charm this month. I did get quite a bit of skincare, and that's okay. It is what it is. When you get subscription boxes, that's kind of what you uh, tend to get. You know, it's just look at the draw, I guess. You're going to get some items you like. You're going to get some items you don't like. You're going to... But in all, I think it's well worth the money for Boxing Charm. Oh my goodness, guys. I think I might have found my new favorite my mascara. This is my Wonder Mount High Club. Mascara, one coat, none. Do y'all see that? Let's try another coat. And I love this wad. I'm loving it. Sorry, I had a phone call. I didn't even put on a ladder, but it's okay. Wait, I wrote a letter today. 
this is with two coats. Do y'all see the difference? Like, oh my lord. Yes. Um, see, this is why I like boxes. If you have been with me for a while, you know that I love my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. That is just my, that is my go-to mascara. And now, uh, and it's empty. Like, it's, I'm on a travel size right now. Oh, the Thrive Cosmetics, and so I've been trying to find another gem in mascaras, and I'm pretty sure I just found one. Like, I don't even want to put the lashes on now because my lashes look so good, which I probably just use it as an excuse. But this is what it looks like, this is what the wire looks like very precise, little. That's what I like about it. But y'all, my lashes look awesome. If I did anything out of this palette, I mean, this, these two boxes, this, yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Oh, so glad I got this. These are my mascaras. And this goes above all these. All these. All of them. Above all of them. That's a lot of mascaras and eyeliners, right? Is that funny? It goes above them all. Which I really need to declutter some of those because a lot of those are bad now. Like my big Thrive Cosmetics in there. It is empty. Like there is no lifeline left in it. And I just I can't part with it. But maybe I can now. All right, let's go out to the lip. I'll just use a uh, lip liner that we have received before for a boxy charm. It's a gel liner, and I don't know what color. Stripped, I guess. No. I really like these liners. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to sharpen it because it's like a weird outside coat. I don't know. I have to try. There's gotta be a way. That's just like with the. Okay, so this one goes up. I was wondering how that worked. <laughs> this one don't go up. So I must be able to sharpen this one. We shall see. Right, now on to the lip. Lip, lip, lippy. I did try this out last night whenever I did my unboxing uh, and I liked it. So let's try it again. Very nude, which is why it's probably called a nude stick. But you girl loves nudes, so we've got a winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. I'm glad it's a nude. It's all bright ass red. As I said, that one red hair, but I don't like red lip. I like red hair, but I don't like red lip. Okay, so let's try. This frizzy stuff real fast. Get off of here while y'all been out here for 20,000 minutes. Y'all see how frizzy my hair is, right? It says... Oh, 
Okay, so you press the door in sections. Let's get some sections going so we know every part of my hair is done. And y'all, this smells amazing. Like it smells really good. Now, I don't know how long this can will last, especially with my frizz ball. And, I mean, I got a lot of hair. As you can tell, like, a lot of hair. Like, you would think I had weave or wig on, but I really don't. It's all mine. I hate when my nose runs. It doesn't taste good. It, it <laughs> I just spread it like my lip all the way, lipstick all the way up. There we go. And it's like filled in the air, so. So if you have a lot of hair like me, you have to spray quite a bit. But other than that, it smells good. It leaves your hair smelling good. Does it look like it took out the frizziness? I mean, it looks a little bit better. It might work better on, like, maybe damp hair. I don't know, but I literally probably took about that much from it just now. That's what it feels like. But now y'all know why I leave my hair up so much. You see this? Do you see this? This is a horse's ass. This is a horse's ass. A horse's ass, ma'am. So that's why I leave my hair up. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed all this trial. I think it made my hair look a little better. Anything to help it, right? I really, really like this mascara. I will have to try these lashes on later. Just because I'm loving this mascara, guys. And this has been a super long video already. Y'all know I've been working on trying to cut it down a little bit. So this might be one of the long ones. So you might want to grab a snack. Sorry. But all in all, I enjoy it. I hope y'all liked it. Uh, I'm happy with everything I got. I'm sad that I didn't get some items. But it is what it is. You live and move on. You appreciate what you got. And, you know, you want something bad enough, go buy it later. With that being said, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please share me out. I'm almost there getting monetized. I'm so close. I'm at 70% with my watch time. So I just need a little bit more. And it's all because of y'all. So I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. To the next one. Bye.